mainstream media, the daily sort of media, goes to the people they know, you know, it's the, it's the usual suspects. But beneath that, there are a whole lot of people who are doing some really significant writing and thinking. Social media uh, and the daily media is so conflict-based, and it's about shutting down a debate and a discussion rather than opening it up. You can't help but open up a discussion with something like the Griffith Review because you're asking people to do more than give you one line. You're asking them for more than a slogan. At the time we started, there was, there was very little in this space in Australia. The internet was not as expansive as it is now. And so one of the, th the sort of animating things at the beginning was a recognition that the media was contracting. So we needed to have a platform that provided more space, that addressed the gaps in the media space, and that importantly provided um, a space for Australian writers to write not just inward looking, but Australia looking out. Griffith Review changed my life. There's been dozens of Aboriginal writers given a chance to, to enter the world of letters. And that's happened right from the beginning. So Julianne said, we're not going to do a standalone Indigenous issue and put people over in a silo. We're just going to incorporate them. We're a diverse society. These voices deserve a place in the conversation and therefore they're incorporated in every edition. And that sounds fairly normal now, but um, 15 years ago it certainly wasn't normal. It's an ethos that's egalitarian and excellent at the same time. The fact that it showcases so much but also has such a strong editorial bent and is consistently reliable in terms of its quality makes it just one of the most important cornerstones of the Australian literary community. For me personally, the validation that came the, the personal validation that came from having a piece accepted in Griffith Review, it cut through a lot of the self-doubt and the fear that I had as a writer. The most amazing opportunity you can have as an editor is to go to writers that you admire and um, writers that you've just discovered and offer them space for their stories. Griffith Review has always had a commitment to really interesting, high quality, long form writing so to have the chance as an editor to go to a completely different suite of writers four times a year and ask them to tell me their stories is something of a gift.